Sustainably Addressing Global Poverty, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 332. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is a weekly progress update number 332, August 4th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness of the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And that pathway to global sustainability includes sustainably addressing global, global poverty. And that's what I want to talk about today is sustainably addressing global poverty through teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to lift people out of poverty, to provide a place where people can go and if they're willing to put in hard work and time and energy, can create a, a better life for themselves. And that's irrespective of where they're starting. From a third world perspective, our goal is to take the resources where they're needed the most, the energy infrastructure, the food infrastructure, the housing infrastructure, and to provide people with the tools, the education, and the resources necessary to be able to build sustainably, grow food sustainably, and provide themselves with sustainable energy, to create infrastructure to support themselves, their families, their friends, all of that. From a, from, a, from a developed nation standpoint, the idea is to create a place where people can get out of debt, to create a place where people can go and then they, through hard work and dedication, they can build themselves a home that they can live in for the rest of their lives, that they can dedicate and will to their grandchildren, to their children, to create open source plans, tools, tutorials, and resources, do-it-yourself instructions so that people can do this in any environment with limited resources and provide something that is better than what they're living in right now. Homes that last hundreds, if not thousands of years, you know, and a better education for their kids and a homeschooling option for education or a collaborative, cooperative, community-based education model that most people will be able to create to be superior to the way that they're getting education right now. Um, all aspects of the living experience have been designed to be sustainable and for the highest good of all life on this planet. And our goal through open sourcing and free sharing, all the do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for replication and in building one community as the first prototype and bringing together people with the skills and the knowledge and the know-how and the willingness to open source and free share everything that we're creating is to sustainably address global poverty by creating a model that can be replicated anywhere and that benefits governments, that benefits businesses, that benefits individuals when they want to share it, if they want to help to build it and invite other people to participate. Our whole model is designed so that the more that we share one community, the more that we open source and free share everything that one community is doing, the more it will grow and expand. The more revenue it will generate, the more people that will be exposed to what it is that we're doing, the more successful we'll be, and the more fun we're having while doing it. Because as I say in almost every video, our goal is to make it demonstrate as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. Open source is the easy enough and the affordable enough aspect of it. We will do that through our open source process. The attractive enough part of it is how much fun are people having, what is the living environment that we're creating, and how much do people like to participate in that? How happy are the people living there? And if we can demonstrate that, this idea will spread its own. And we see it spreading to the point where, where industries will want to adopt something like this because they can provide housing and food and all the aspects needed for communities to have collaborative and cooperative ownership of those industries. And one community is going that direction. The eighth village that we will create will be based around an industry that we want to demonstrate radical sustainability in, within. We want to be change makers for the whole global way of looking at living and to demonstrate that radical sustainability works in all environments and is beneficial in all environments. And so industry is one of those ideas. In so doing, we will be able to bring hundreds of people onto the property to live and work together and cooperate and collaborate at one community while having shared ownership of everything that it is that we're creating, that they're creating, so that we can work together for the highest good of all life on the planet while simultaneously giving ourselves a better life, our families a better life, our friends a better life, and sharing that with everybody and demonstrating a model that, sustainably addressing, that is sustainably addressing global poverty because it's replicable and can take people in poverty, give them something to do of value 
So instead of being slave labor in a factory, they can instead be willing labor in working on a product that they care about, that they, in a company that they co-own, a small percentage of that company being theirs because they've worked and earned their way up to it. Kind of like the idea of like profit sharing or like owning stock in a company. But in this case, your time and energy put into the company gives you partial ownership of that company. If you leave, you can sell that owner ownership to somebody else or you could give it, it would be purchased back by the company. But the idea is that people are working together so that they would be creating a life for themselves and their family and everything that they contribute would be working towards that. Set, eliminating the separation between their collaborative and cooperative efforts and their home life. Like right now, a lot of people go to an office and they work within that office, but they don't really have any ownership within that environment. And then they go home, they pay for their bills, they send their kids off to school, you know, they go out for recreation. What if we could bring all that stuff in-house? What if we could create complete environments that meet all the needs of people that are open source and free share, but they're designed to create a fulfilled living model, a new way of living that includes the recreational activities, the social architecture, all of that, the energy, the food infrastructure, the housing infrastructure is all built sustainably, collaboratively by the people living there and the work and everything that they do is all on site. So people don't have to travel outwards. They still could, but so that most of those things are contained inside and included in the living model. And everybody having control and ownership over that as well so that people can make it what it is that they want. And so that these communities can evolve to meet the needs of different groups, different ideas. So if somebody wants to have one organization focused on this thing and somebody else wants it focused on something else, then the people that are drawn to those two different things can go where it fits their lifestyle and their values the most. And so our goal in making it all self-replicating is so that the ridiculous diversity of desires and needs and values that people have can all be met as more and more communities pop up. And then the only thing that's necessary to participate is to meet the requirements. And everybody will have their own requirements. You know, one community has our requirements for joining our organization. Other people will have their requirements. Different organizations will have different requirements. The idea is transparency, inviting people to participate in what it is that they want and that the community wants, that there's win-win relationships that are created. And in so doing, we can sustainably address global poverty by getting to the very foundation, the roots of global poverty, giving people a place, people that are willing to work for it, that want to work for it, and eventually as the idea grows and becomes more and more successful for people that aren't capable of working for it, for people that uh, really, really need help, environments that can support those, and then the people running those environments, their contribution to the community that creates the value for them to be there and to own their own homes and all of that is helping to get, take care of other people. And this is what one community is doing on a global scale. Our goal is the value that we provide is open source, do-it-yourself replicable, blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, and a place where people will be able to come and experience everything it is that we're creating. And so that is the model that we want to replicate and show or make replicable and show that people can replicate it all over the world and use it to address pretty much everything, including global poverty. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We're an all-volunteer team. We're a nonprofit organization. And here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainably addressing global poverty and so much more with the model that we've been developing. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued adding the content to the most sustainable insulation options page. This week, we finished the section shown here for denim, hemp, and wool. Also working on the most sustainable insulation options page and transitioning to the most sustainable faucet options research, Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her ninth week to finalize the insulation research and began researching Sloan, Toto, Kohler, and Grow faucet products. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 167 working on the Earth Bay Village. This week, he continued modeling the larger windows that are fire code compliant and replacing throughout the three bedroom home designs. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. 
This week, the core team added all the final Duplical City Center library renders to the open source hub and also updated the pipe furniture page to clarify this as the new direction that room is taking. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, also continued with his 13th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he continued revising the proposed HVAC system to use a more sustainable hydronic cooling and heat recovering system. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 18th week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was creating columns and beams in AutoCAD for the sliding glass door entryways. Mateus Bajeto, civil engineer, also rejoined the team and reviewed and made minor updates to the City Center plumbing designs he helped create several years ago. You can see some of this work here. This was in preparation for a redesign Kimia Azadmard, senior plumbing engineer, has joined the team to help with. Kimmy's focus this week was writing the city center plumbing basis of design details shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 19 of our development of the open source dams, lakes, and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we finished the descriptions for all the different dam types. The core team also continued research for the 100 chicken coop. This week, we started using the 3D construction file to create the materials list, some of which you can see here. And last but not least, the core team continued researching sheep. We reviewed several videos regarding getting started with sheep, toxic free hoses and soakers, sheep shelters, and raising grass-fed lamb, and incorporated what we learned into the behind the scenes sheep tutorial Google Doc shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 50th week helping. His work now is focused on final edits to the ultimate classroom renders. This week, he started work on this orange room where he added in new elements, replaced some items, and resized the kids. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created the new collage format we're using for these blogs. We also created the new page shown here and based off of a magazine article we were asked to write and called 10 Community Problems and 10 Solutions. We also updated our internet participation page and tutorial for people looking to help with anywhere from 1 minute to 30 minutes only and using just the internet. In addition to this, the core team working with Brian Gill, the project management professional, also started the final review and edits of our business plan and all the related attachments. We finished the first five enclosures and would say we're now about 30% done. Schuber Mittal, software delivery manager, helped write all the hours estimates for the complete Highest Good Network work breakdown structure. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 39th week as part of the marketing team by implementing requested changes to the Highest Good of All sub-campaigns and creating all the shareable site links for the One Community Branding campaign. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. 
There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainably addressing global poverty. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit a written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to one community updates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way, of course, is to join us on social media uh, or to like this YouTube video or on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Obviously, on YouTube, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, Instagram, Pinterest, about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to join us, to share our information, to follow our work. Whatever way you want to interact with us, it all makes a difference. So we're really appreciative for that. Uh, if you've donated to us, thank you very much. If you'd like to donate to us, that helps out immensely. Uh, we're all unpaid, 100% unpaid volunteers, including myself. So 100% of donations go to forwarding our open source goals, not towards paychecks or anything like that. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching to the end. Every little bit makes a difference. Watching the end actually helps with our YouTube algorithm. So if you're somebody that's watched to the end, thanks. That makes a big difference. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.